you can use the keywords of null or not null to test to see if there's any data in a field or if there's data missing. In this example, you're looking at the employees table. And if you take a look at the region field, you'll notice that there's no information in some of those records. Now, this is a very small table, but imagine if you had a table filled with thousands and thousands of records and you need to find the records that are missing information, then null or not null would be great for that. So let's say that we want to find all the employees where that region field is null. So coming up to my query, I'll go ahead and add in my where clause here of where region is null. I will run that and there are my four records. All right, so I'm going to switch tables to show you a different example here. I'm going to switch over to the customers table because I know there's some information that's missing out of that table as well. You'll notice region here as well as the facts field is missing information. So what I want to do here is I want to find all the records where the facts is null. When I run that, I have 22 records that are missing fax numbers. All right, well, what if I wanted to see the opposite of that? What if I wanted to see all the ones that were not missing fax numbers? Well, remember, for the opposite, you can use the keyword of not. So I'm going to say where fax is not null. And I'll run that. And now I have 69 records. So when you're scouring through your tables and you want to pull up records that are missing bits of information, you can use null. And if you want to find ones that are not missing certain bits of information, then of course you can use is not null.